Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy The Chief, aka The Chef, aka The Quadruple P, because inside of today's video, we've got new star powers for Pat, Primo, Penny, and Piper. My star power being heat-seeking rockets, but let's go and check out the three new star powers that are coming out inside of Brawl Stars very soon, and one star power that's gonna be a complete game changer, and as you guys like to meme about, is absolutely broken. For some reason, everyone thinks in every single star power video update that I do that I say every single star power is broken. This one is actually legit insanely good. The other ones are pretty good as well, but let's go and check out this one right now, and it's a new star power for Piper, and it's actually absolutely ridiculous. Now, taking a look at the first one, Piper's first star power is called Ambush, where she gets an additional 400 extra damage when she's sitting in a bush and shoots her shot. Pretty nice for getting that extra damage, but this new star power called Snappy Sniping, whenever you hit an enemy with one of your attacks, you get half a piece of ammo back immediately. This means that if you connect with all of your shots, if you have three ammo pieces and you shoot all three and connect with all of them, you're gonna get one and a half pieces of ammo back, basically making Piper a rapid fire machine doing an insane amount of damage. Let me show you guys this one in action. I'll just go ahead and hop into a friendly game to give this one a go, but this has been a star power I've been looking forward to for so long, and Piper already is super good inside of the current meta. A lot of people have been using her in so many different modes. This new star power is gonna make her 100 times more ridiculous. So if you're uh, you know, good, or if you're not a noob like me, you're probably gonna hit a lot of your shots, but look at this. As I hit shots, I am just getting ammo back over and over and over again. Okay, of course I do have to hit them. When you're in close range, you can just continually spam. Half a piece of ammo. I think originally Supercell had a design to where you got a full um, ammo recharge back whenever you hit one of your shots, but already just gonna be continuing to stack up our stuff. And let me just get all three pieces of ammo for you guys. But this star power, while it does, you know, it doesn't really, it's not flashy. You don't have explosions or anything crazy. I'm just able to continually shoot over and over and over and over again, doing the most damage inside of the entire game. It's going to be crazy, especially if you're fighting a Piper close range. Now you have to be concerned that they can just go ahead and reload their shots over and over and over again. And uh, it's safe to say that this is going to make Piper even better than she is right now. I already thought Piper, especially with a lot of the different modes we're seeing, is such a strong brawler. But look at this. I'm never running out of ammo. I'm just shooting nonstop. It's crazy. I mean, three ammo, plus you have um, 1.5 that you're getting back if you hit all three of your shots, plus you're naturally recharging ammo anyways. Look at this. Just look at this. This is crazy how much we're getting back right here. And uh, yeah, I mean, guys, this is one, you, you know the memes are out there, but I have to say that this one is gonna make Piper absolutely broken. And I can't wait to see it come out inside of the game. This one is, this one's fun. Um, you know, we're sort of to the end of these new star power releases, but this one for Piper by far and away is going to be a top four, I'd say star power. If I'm ranking up, if I'm making up random rankings for new ones inside of the game, make sure you guys keep your eyes open for that one. Buy it whenever you see it in the shop, but that's going to do it for star power. Number one to show off inside this video. Okay. Let's get into star power. Number two, the second star power we're going to be checking out is for El Primo himself with El Primo. His first star power is called El Fuego, where if he uses his super, it burns first 800 damage onto his opponents for four seconds. Now this is pretty good. Generally though, if you do jump onto someone, you're going to kill them anyway. So it doesn't really mean too much of a difference. His second star power that just came out uh, very soon, is called meteor rush to where basically when El Primo uses his super, he gets a 32% speed boost for five seconds after using it. Now, why is it 32% on the dot? That's really weird. They like picked a random percentage, but let's go and try this out with El Primo right here. And before we even do it, let's use it inside of the uh, training cave and give it a go. Now, this is actually super unique. I sort of like this because um, unlike the other star power where, you know, you're probably going to kill that one person you hop onto anyways, with this star power, if you jump into like a group of people or if you jump into someone and you can't reach them, you still get this speed boost afterwards where look at this, you've got that boost behind you and look at the speed difference compared to sort of when it trails off right there. That is pretty strong and it's safe to say this is going to be a good little tactic for trying to get onto people. Yeah. I mean, you're going to be able to boost your way around the map and put in some work right there. That star power number two for El Primo. And let's go and check out the third one that's going to be coming out this week. All right. The final star power we're going to be checking out is for Penny. Now, as you guys might remember, the star power for Ch Penny was changed recently to where now when Penny's cannon's destroyed, it shoots out all or, or a barrage of four bombs at the end to nearby enemies doing 1,680 damage per shot. You can throw this like in siege onto the enemy's turret and have it all blow up the turret. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And it's a really good star power. The one that's coming out very soon is called Balls of Fire. 
Sounds painful. Cannonballs from Penny's turret set the ground on fire for three seconds. Enemies in the burning area take 400 damage per second. Pretty interesting. Let's test this out in gem grab. Now, I find it hard to believe that this one's going to be as good as the star power that Penny already has released inside of the game. Uh, being able to sort of just go ham and have um, your turret explode and just try to take people out. It works pretty well inside of a lot of different modes, but with this one, it does give you a little bit more, you know, you, this one benefits you if you can keep your turret alive. The other one benefits you if your turret is going to continually die. So let's just charge up our very first turret of the game. Our team is getting blasted, by the way. Dynamite. Trying to go ham up here. I am auto-aim spamming like a boss. Let's go and throw this one down right now and check out this very first turret shot. And I imagine it's going to be like Brock's first star power. Brock's first star power, when it sh when it, he shoots his shot, it ends up just leaving that fiery trail behind it. If we could have any of our teammates not kill an enemy, that'd be great. So we can check out this turret in action. Let's see how this works. Uh, Very first... I mean, does my turret even work? Okay, finally it's going to shoot. And wow. Whoa, look at that radius. Okay, that radius is actually insane on that penny turret. Oh, okay. I thought this was going to be the size of like, you know, a bow mine or one of the Brock rocket things. That is a huge radius for a turret. And uh, okay, this makes this a little bit more interesting of a choice. Do you want your turret to pack a little bit more of a punch or do you want to be able to have that explosion towards the end, try to knock people out? It's a, it's a difficult choice. I mean, the first star power is a bit more of a game changer, but this one is is really cheeky. I'm sort of excited to see how people do it. Like, look at Dynamite. Take 400 damage for once he sits inside of that. That is pretty dang strong, guys. And uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of tough choices when it comes to star powers. Not really a lot of tough choices when it comes to Piper star power, but a lot of tough choices when it comes to the new star powers coming outside of the game. I think for this one for Penny, initially, I thought it was just gonna be sort of silly and not really usable. But now that I see it in game, it actually feels like it's pretty good and we might have to worry about it. All right, let's go and try another one using this Piper Super, because or Star Power, because I simply can't get enough of it. Let's try this one again. My overall verdict, definitely use this Piper Star Power 10 times out of 10. For the Penny one, it's a toss up to me right now. I'm probably gonna have to test it out more. Uh, by the way, Piper Shot does not matter on Brawl Boxes, which we can figure out from right here. And for El Primo Star Power, I don't know. I, I sort of feel like his his regular star power is is going to be fine enough. Ooh, this Nita being aggressive, by the way. All right, well, we should probably use our star power on enemies and not a lot of these boxes right here. So let's just start to charge up a bit against this Nita. Yeah, Mortis versus Nita. The battle is old as time. Let's just go ahead and run in and start to rapid fire away. Didn't really have to do too much there, seeing as these bots are losing their mind. And already four people remaining. That's the thing about bots. They tend to get a little crazy. And uh, yeah, let's just slap down that Mortis into the face. Very nicely done. Tick! actually going to be pretty aggressive towards us. Let's see. So if I'm just like up close and personal to a tick, let's see how long it takes me to kill a tick. All right. Well, I'll use my bombs. Ooh, I thought I dropped two sets of bombs, but it was tick going ham right there. Primo going to be a final brawler for us to deal with. And uh, yeah, safe to say that this one. Okay, guys, I, I know I'm an auto aim scrub lord. We all get it. Primo going to run into us onto us. Let's see if he's actually going to do it. Um, Primo, is he going to take that power cube? No. Okay, this is this is just embarrassing at this point. Primo, what are you doing? Why are you attacking random boxes? Why are you supering onto power cubes? Honestly, I've played with worse Primos in Gem Grab, I'm not gonna lie. That's gonna be a GG well played. The Machine Gun Piper, especially when you're playing real players who aren't trash and you actually have to worry about, probably gonna be one of the best brawlers inside the entire game, even more so after this update goes live. Okay, let's check out one final star power. Let's hop into that El Primo one right now and give it a go again. Having that speed up seems pretty interesting, but I don't know how practical it is. I mean, it's gonna be solid in certain scenarios, but more likely than not, I feel like that burn is gonna be more guaranteed damage. Like that guaranteed damage is really strong. Whereas this speed up, you know, if you're only 1v1ing brawlers, this speed up is gonna be sort of nice, but it's not gonna be the end of the world because if you use your super, you should be within range of your enemy no matter what. So let's go and charge up our super for the very first time. Punch bow into this wall right here. And already a Jesse turret. Just going ham on this side. Okay, I guess we've got a bunch of free power cubes over here. Don't mind if I do. And uh, let's see if we can use our star power sometime soon. I'm actually just going to use it on these boxes and see if we can get the speed up going. Very fast indeed, but uh, I don't really know. I mean, if you're super long range from someone and you can't reach them with your jump, I guess that using the star power would be helpful. But otherwise, not really sure what it's going to be able to do for you. Let's clean up this Terra portal. Let's get 14 power cubes on the map. And uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to walk her into her grave. And this is going to be a GG. One final throwdown. That's going to be the end of it, guys. Easily done right there. All right. Final verdict. Hyper star power OP. Primo star power. Eh.
Penny star power, I sort of like it. That's gonna do it for this new look into the star powers today, guys. Only a few more brawlers that don't have new star powers unlocked quite yet. I mean, if we look right now, we've got Bo, we've got Tick, and I think we've got one more brawler, Crow. So be sure to look for those new star powers coming out sometime next week. As is normal with these star powers, whenever the sneak peek is released, they should be released like two days afterwards or a day and a half afterwards. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe, drop a comment, like if you have not already, and let me know what you think about the new star powers in the comment section below. That's gonna do it for this video. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.